to get this party started tonight, folks. Let's see if I can get this thing set up without dumping y'all. I think we're live. You may comment. Let me know you're here whenever you get in. Give this a couple seconds. Let some folks get gathered up. It's Thursday night, so it's time to talk about fishing. There we go. There's some comments dropping in. Oh, a bunch of comments dropped in right now. Stephen Latham, Joe Kincaid. Holy cow, there's a bunch of comments coming. Y'all are coming in hot, as they say. Oh, Todd's in here, John Marlin, Seabock. Holy cow, Tony Maynard, Jerry K. There is a bunch of you guys dropping comments tonight. Hey, hello to everybody. Thank each and every one of you for joining us. I can't keep up. Y'all are coming in so fast and furious. Hey, guess what? Fishing's pretty good. Something I want to talk about tonight. So let's talk about consistency. Consistency is one of the most underrated factors to me in fishing. And here's the deal, guys. We've had very consistent weather. Now, it's been consistently pretty darn hot, but it's been really consistent uh, since that last cool down a while back in a little bit of a rain and we just had really consistent weather it's been right in the upper 90s every day here lately maybe over 100 every once in a while but within five or six degrees same predictable weather every single day and boy when that happens if you'll go out and fish the right way and stay on top of them do the right things you can figure out a pattern because when the weather is consistent and the water content is consistent the water color is not changing the water depth's not the level is not changing uh, you can really start dialing patterns and kind of get predictable and start calling your shots and you can get after them. And that's what's been going on. I'm that we have actually been catching them pretty darn good. Like the fishing is good. I'm just going to tell you, if this weather stays the same, and right now it's forecast to stay exactly the same, if nothing changes between now and next week, there's going to be some folks that really catch a lot of fish during the uh, Sea the Outdoors Big Bass Splash, which is coming up. And we speaking of that, I've probably been catching more good you know, two pound plus just under 16 inch fish than I've ever caught in my life on Lake Fork here the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've just been catching a lot of those fish and I'm fishing shallow. I'm fishing all, I'm not fishing deep at all. I'm fishing all shallow. I'm fishing way, way, way back in the creeks. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe we had a little turnover a month ago, whatever it was, we have fished. I mean, bait is just crammed in the back of these major creeks. I'm talking about massive amounts, insane amounts of bait fish, both young of the year shad, the little ones, and full grown gizzard shad in the back of some of them. So if you can find the gizzard shad and you're just wanting to go catch some big slot fish, that's the deal. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, but when you can find the big amounts of these right here, these little bitty shad, you can catch a lot of those good under the slot tournament fish for my tournament fishermen. Uh, somebody says, you got any schoolers yet? Yeah, they are schooling in the backs of these creeks. When you find these big amounts of this little bait, there are certain creeks where they will go to schooling right there in just a couple feet of water. Uh, and that's an awful lot of fun, an awful lot of fun. So uh, we're catching a lot of fish. We're averaging... Fishing, you know, in mornings, we're averaging about 20 a morning. Sometimes we're a little less. Sometimes we're well over 20. Um, but we are averaging around 20 a morning right now. So it is <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Usually have a few big ones mixed in there. Have gotten really close to the overmark several times. So let's get into the baits. Let's talk about the baits. The best bait, the hands down best bait this week for me has been the 3 8 out. Say it with me now, because y'all know where I'm going. This is my baby. This is my boo. This is my boo right here. The 3 8 ounce shad pattern, old smoke shad looking chatterbait, gray top, white bottom, a little bit of sparkle in it. But 3 8 ounce jackhammer chatterbait with a smoke on the water colored impact shad is my trailer. That's my number one bait. It has been so consistent. It's catching the big fish. It's catching the little fish. It's catching the in-between fish. It's like the Dr. Seuss bait. It catch a blue fish, green fish, red fish, two fish, you fish, me fish. I don't know. Uh, it's catching all of them. Now, I will tell you this. We have one thing that I think has helped us this week a lot is we've had a little bit of south wind. A little bit of south wind blowing in there, right? Blowing in there in the backs of these creeks and uh, blowing across those grass flats that we're fishing, blowing across those channel edges. And I think that's helping stack them up and helping them bite a little better on that moving bait deal. Now, First thing in the morning or on days where it's just abnormally calm or even on the windy, the, the breezy days after I've, they quit biting the chatterbait or if they're not biting chatterbait for whatever reason, 
I will pick up the Six Sense Clout in some type of a blue sparkle color. This one's like a watermelon blue flake. They have a color called Nirvana. It's a green pumpkin on the bottom half, black with blue flake on the top half. Uh, that one works really well as well. So anything with some blue sparkle to it, that stick bit right there rigged on a 3 aught EWG heavy wire weightless Texas rig. Um, this bait's really good. There are days when this bait takes over and it catches all of them. So, if they still have some available at sixcentfishing.com, be sure you go over there and order some right now. Because once they're out of this initial order, there won't be any more till December, guys. So, you need to get those six cents clout stick baits. I'm telling you, they got different ribs. They got a little bit different shimmy. A little more, I think it's a little more shimmy than the other stick baits on the market. And it really catches a lot of fish for me. So, third bait. And this, when they school, this is, I immediately pick this up when they school. And also, if I feel fish biting that chatterbait but not getting it, if they're a little bit finicky, if they just won't eat that chatterbait, I'm throwing this bait right here. The uh, Divine Underspin Head from Six Cents with a Smash Tail Junior as the swim bait on it in a quarter ounce weight. Uh, gotta go light because I am fishing it shallow around some grass, so I gotta keep it very high in the water column to keep that open hook from snagging that grass. But when they're being finicky and they're just slapping at the bait, sometimes that open hook bait can get them when those other baits won't. So uh, a little bit more finesse version of the shad pattern deal there. And I know this is top five baits, and that's only three. That's all you need, guys. That's all you need. Um, you can get a fish to blow up on a frog now and again if that's if you're hard up on the frog and you really want to throw the frog. You can get some frog bites. Uh, but those three baits right there are really the mainstay for what I'm, I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> well, I got to try and catch up on comments. Hubbard rocks with Texas rig worm and with some purple color. Well, uh, Fish Life app, Broken Bow available yet. Broken Bow is available on the Fish Life app on Google Play Store and the web app at www.fishlife.net. Uh, we're still waiting on Apple's approval. Every time we do a new package, we're at the mercy of Apple, and y'all know what I think about Apple. But it is what it is. Um, on, on the Hubbard deal, somebody said Hubbard rocks and Texas rig. So actually... We had some guys using the Fish Life app that won the uh, weeknight tournament a couple days ago. I think two nights ago. Uh, the guys that won the night tournament on Hubbard were Fish Life app users, and they stroked them. They won that tournament by seven pounds. <laughs> like, they beat everybody real bad. So the Fish Life Hubbard package is definitely producing. I know they caught their fish on an underspin jig head and a swim bait. Um, and I believe a crankbait, so. When you're using the lightweight screw lock, when are you using the lightweight screw locks hooks on the clout? Uh, you, I would use those right now. Um, they're hard to find around here. I have to order them online and I just haven't done it. I don't have any right now. I would be using them. I'm just using a heavy wire. 3 odd EWG hook and I use that real heavy gauge wire and that kind of gives me that same type of weighting. Do I ever throw a chatterbait without a skirt? I do not. I don't, I don't ever throw a chatterbait without a skirt. That might not be a bad idea. That would actually be a really good idea on some of the more finicky fish, probably. That's actually not a bad idea at all. Do I ever fish Bob Sandlin at Lake Rocks? I have never been on Bob Sandlin because every time I've gone to Bob Sandlin, I just keep going until I get to Monticello. But now Monticello's closed, so maybe I'll find a reason to go fish Bob Sandlin now. Is the Movement ADX catching anything right now? Um, I have not been. I have thrown it a little bit. I haven't thrown it very much, though, because they, I, we've been catching them so good. Like, we're catching them so good on the chatter rate. I just haven't picked it up as much. I've thrown it a little bit, uh, and I have not got them going on it, but... 
It is what it is. I'm not saying it's not working. Where's the rattle trap bite right now? So the lipless crankbait bite that we talked about was happening, was starting to happen, and then it got hotter, and uh, it kind of that lipless crankbait faded, and that chatterbait bite took over. So it's coming. It's that lipless crankbait bite's coming, um, but it's not quite here yet. KCT is asking me about the new multi tool from Six Sense. I have not got my hands on it yet, KCT. I will let you know when I do. Vic and Vic Pearsall and Zach Watts are over there having their own conversation. You're making it hard to keep up with the comments there, Vic and Zach. Other, oh, there we go. I was about to read one and then it got kicked down. Here we go again. <laughs> are you seeing shad shallow every day? I've been fishing three to four days a week and some days I see the shad and other days they vanish. If you get far enough back in the creeks, you will see them every day. They are back there. The one in the back backs of the creeks, they're there every day and they're plentiful in numbers. Here we go. Broken bow fish life spots are on fire. I'm letting some of the spots sit for people who get the app, but they are there. That is our contributor, Mr. Jonathan Bowling. Great, great guide on Broken Bow. In fact, just won an award from some Broken Bow Society or something. I don't know. He got the best of Broken Bow Fishing Charter Service, so he was voted the best fishing guide on Broken Bow, which is kind of like understatement of the year as far as I'm concerned. I mean, that guy is an absolute hammer, so... Get up there and book a trip with Jonathan Bowling on Broken Bow. It's a great place to take your wife. It's kind of a resort type area. It's got a lot of stuff going on for the family. Sneak out there and go fishing with Bowling while you're there. You will not be disappointed. If you're going to go up there and go out on your own, take your boat. Be sure you subscribe to the Broken Bow package on the Fish Life app. What is the lake level right now? Lake Fork, lake level is one foot low. We're right at one foot low, guys. Are you... Uh, just getting in and I know way off subject uh, let's see I was trying to read that I'm sure but why do the bass keep missing my topwater frog um, they're just not committing to it they're just I mean that, that's what's happening on the frog right now they're just really not committing to it uh, hey look guys when fish are blowing up on your topwaters and they're not getting it throw something that's just under the surface Throw that little jig head swim bait throw a wake bait a wake bait is really good when they're blowing up on topwaters and missing it uh, throw a chatterbait and keep it high in the water column. That's that's what we've been doing and it's working. So, am I catching many fish on the underspin? I wondered about picking up the underspin over the chatterbait because fish don't see as many underspins as they do chatterbait. I'm catching fish on the underspin when they're not when I can feel them hit the chatterbait and not get it. I'm also catching fish on the underspin whenever I see them schooling. They're they're biting it good when when they're schooling. So. Has Hubbard Creek been good? Well, there's a Hubbard Creek Lake that I know nothing about. But if you're talking about the river on Lake Ray Hubbard, uh, when I was there, it was where we caught the majority. I think, well, no, I guess we caught more fish on the rocks. I don't remember. We caught fish up the river when I was there. And it was, yeah, it was good. So I would imagine with what's going on over here that the river is just getting better and better every day right now. I would be headed straight for the river if I was on Hubbard. How old am I? I am 36 years old. Fortnite beast. Too old to play Fortnite. That's how old I am, bro. Other than online, is there anywhere to purchase the Six Cent stick bait? Not that I know of. The only place I know to purchase that clout stick bait from Six Cents is at SixCentsFishing.com where you can punch in that code and get your 10% discount. So I don't know why you want to buy it anywhere else, to be honest with you. When you're in the backs of creeks, are they staying more in the creek channel or or are they getting out on the flats? So that's a great question. I fish fishing mostly on the channel edges, channel breaks, channel swings. That's where I was focusing all my attention until yesterday morning. We caught a few, but we didn't catch them nearly as good as we had. And then we started moving around and wandering across the flat. We started picking up some better quality fish and more of them. So as of yesterday, they started wandering a little bit on me. So now I'm kind of more open-minded and... Fishing the flats adjacent to the creeks a little more than I had been. 
Um, best thing to me is always, always, always start on the creek channel bend. Start on the good spots, the spots that look the best on the map. Start where those breaks are and then expand out from there if you need to. Are the Six Sense Rods graphene? The uh, Sensory Series is graphene. The Unicorn Series is graphene as well. Y'all dropping the questions in now. Tackle Attic on Sam Rayburn has them. Oh, Tackle Attic on Sam Rayburn has them. There you go. Speed. Need it for the big bass. Todd, if you if you go to Six Cents right now and order those stick baits, they will be there by the early part to middle part of next week. You'll have them in time. They do really good on shipping. They get it there quick. A couple weeks ago, you mentioned Big Perm Bite was dying. I've been catching some big ones on it here in Missouri all summer. Big Bass Bash, Lake of the Ozarks, October 5. Will Big Perm work or is it summer? Man, that's hard for me to answer because you're in so much different of a region. It had that bite died here but you guys were still where we had been a month ago up there so without being there and kind of being able to get a good real good feel for the um seasonal patterns it's hard for me to make that call from here Fortnite beast wants to know do i know caption ron i know captain ron ronnie kelly smelly kelly stinky boy we probably need to play another prank on him. Yeah, I know him. You know, if you watch his channel all, you know I know him. Two days every time for six inches. Yeah, they ship. It, their shipping happens fast. They're really good about that. All right, I think. Think I caught up on the questions. Hey, if I missed a question, well, we've gone like rapid fire tonight. If I missed a question, please drop it in again. If you have a new question, please drop that in as well. I'd love to answer every single question that I could for you guys. Is the football game back on yet? I know they were in a delay earlier, and I haven't checked again since. Did the football game come back on? Who knows? Mike Evans, you better wake up from last week and go catch a dang gun football because you left me hanging in fantasy football. I mean, my team pulled out the win, so it's okay. Like, we're going to let this one go, Mike. But if you have another performance like that, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I don't know. You ain't going to be worth trading. Ain't nobody going to want you. Somebody said something about what is Captain Ron. Captain Ron don't have a YouTube channel. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Captain Ron said that I'm doing catfish, guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Book me for a catfish trip. See how it works out. <laughs> Morning bite is slowed down about nine a.m. No, not nine a.m. Not quite that early. Uh, but I do have I have some spots where it quits nine a.m. Then there's other spots where it kind of goes later. And what I found is the areas that I'm fishing in the Bax Creeks that have the deeper channel, the bite will last longer into the morning. How about the Maggies? I don't want to talk about the Texans. I don't want to talk about the Aggies. And I don't want to talk about Andrew stinking luck. I don't want to talk about nothing. Why y'all bringing up stuff we don't need to talk about? I like how these guys look. We got trolls that are just filling up the comment box. Hey, you guys that are trolling the uh, comment box, do y'all realize that every time you comment, it makes this video get more views? So, appreciate it. <laughs> Ding dongs. Just blank name and Aaron Rodgers with a Confederate flag. Just dropping mad comments. I'm trying to help. Aaron Rodgers is trying to help me. Thanks, Aaron Rodgers. I appreciate it, homie. Somebody's wanting to know about the garden juice. I don't even know what the garden juice is. Good grief. What is going on? We have been trolled. I fished twice with you and have learned so much that I bought my first boat. Hey, somebody tell Skeeter that I need a boat deal. I'll sell a boat out here. Eddie, thank you very much. I really appreciate you fishing with me. And uh, I can't say thank you enough. And I'm glad that you got a boat, buddy. I hope you catch them all. 
Uh, somebody asked what the water temps are. The water temps are in the upper 80s. They've creeped down into the mid 80s, actually, like 84, 85. Uh, they've been running down to that. So I, we're just not getting as hot as we are. The nights are cooling them off, and they're not warming up as much during the day. So uh, water temp have trended back the other direction and started going down. That's a good thing. That's what's making all these bait fish, I think, really stack up in the backs of these creeks. It's really starting to kind of get going. So. <laughs> that's funny one of these troll guys says I bet you're uh, naked from the waist down that's actually funny I'm not I'm not uh, the fall transition started at fork they're definitely transitioning like I don't think it's it's not like a fall bite or anything like that but they are transitioning uh, the main lake fish are transitioning to a point where they're kind of spread out and it so can be tough to really catch them grouped up but um, that's why I'm in the backs of creeks it's a little bit bigger groups of fish a little bit easier to catch but yes, they're definitely transitioning. They are literally, this is going to have 857 comments when we're done. Did I hear about the new lake in Tyler? No, I don't know anything about a new lake in Tyler. In Tyler. I know about a new one that's going in... Um, Um, up by like Paris and Bonham and all that. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by these crazy trolls. <laughs> oh, why is a fishing channel getting trolled? These children ain't got nothing better to do. These would be more than likely friends of uh, certain people around Lake Fork. We'll just say that. <laughs> Honey Grove, Honey Grove, yeah. The new lake, Lake Bodark's going up in by Honey Grove. Uh, it's supposed to be a couple years for it's open. That lake should be a awesome one, man. That's a really good area for a lake. All the lakes around there have really big fish in them, um, from my experience. And, yeah, that should be a good one. I can't wait for that one to open. What lures do you use when fish are suspended under docks or standing timber? Number one bait for me when fish are suspending around docks is going to be a wacky worm. A wacky worm uh, seems to be the very best thing you can possibly throw uh, around suspending dock fish, which they do. They love to suspend up under that hard shade line when it's really hot outside. Everybody thinks Captain Ron got some buddies to come prank me. <laughs> what is the best rod? To me, the best rod is... I'm a big fan of that Century Series from Six Sense Fishing. I think that is the best rod I've ever put my hands on. Um, that Divine Series that's coming, I've got one of those that I'm really in love with too. But that Century Series, especially when you consider it's $249, and for that price, it's as good as any of the $400 rods, $300 rods, or whatever that I've put in my hand. Like It's just as good as any rod I've ever held on Earth. And it's pretty affordable. Uh, considering can you please repeat the baits yes we can repeat the baits if you came in late uh, the 3 8 ounce white chatter bait with a smoke on the water impact shad is a trailer is my number one bait it's catching most of my fish the uh, stick bait the clout the six cents clout stick bait is a really good second option especially when there's no wind or the bite slows down and I'm throwing that in any kind of color that has some blue sparkle to it I'm throwing it in the watermelon blue flake I'm also throwing it in the color they call Nirvana, which is a green pumpkin bottom with a black with blue flake top. And that one's doing really well. And then the divine underspin on schooling fish or when the chatterbait fish are just hitting it and not getting it, uh, we're throwing the divine underspin with a smash tail junior on that. Good grief. Do I like Bass Pro? <laughs> yeah, I like Bass Pro. It's a place with a lot of bass fishing baits. Of course I like it. This is insane. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm so confused. Ugh. Somebody keeps giving me the definition to a transistor. 
All right, cool. Transistor. If you, in case you didn't know, guys, a transistor a transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify power or something else. Somebody says, "Help, Daddy, get out of the shit." <laughs> wow. I'm honored that people spend this much of their life watching my channel and making comments. You think Toledo Bend and Lake Fork bite about the same this time of the year? Um, yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. Um, it can be a little different down there. A, because it's hotter down there than it is here. Uh, less wind oftentimes down there than it is here, which affects things. Um, but mainly because it's such a big lake, like it can fish a little different. But it's not far off. It's pretty darn close. Now we're getting Cold War lessons. Somebody reads books while they troll. That's impressive. Turtles everywhere. We got a turtle problem. Turtles are running the lake. Apparently there's turtles making comments on live streams now. It's funny. Ever since these guys started making these comments, they act like they don't believe me, but there's like more people watching now than there was before. So YouTube is climbing us in the algorithms, boys. We're going to break 100 here in a minute. Tell Captain Ron Cole said hi when you see him. I sure will, buddy. At least they're getting an education in prison. <laughs> this is this is pretty pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I don't mind trolls. Trolls are fun. Trolls are fun. I'm <laughs> going viral. There's some kind of virus going around. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I really don't even know what to say. I can't repeat the last comment that blank name said, but that's pretty funny. Oh man. The Berlin Wall was a guarded concrete barrier that physically and ideologically divided Berlin from 1961 to 1989. These suckers are like copy and pasting from Wikipedia, bro. <laughs> Does anybody know if the football game's on yet? Like, what's going on? I don't even know why it's delayed. Pretty good stuff. Line size on the clout. I'm throwing uh, on the clout stick bait from six cents. I'm throwing that on a 15 pound fluorocarbon line. Fish Life Outdoors is asking me if there's any updates on Fish Life Apparel. You know everything that's going on with Fish Life Apparel, Z. We did post a picture of a um, new shirt that we're going to be getting. Uh, and I'm really proud of it. We're actually going to be working with Grunt Style. If you know who Grunt Style is, they make some awesome apparel. Very patriotic company. Everybody that works there is a veteran. Uh, very cool company. Couldn't pick anybody else. I'd rather have handle them, you know, making my apparel for me. So... Um, they're going to make this shirt for us. Uh, we're going to get a few different color options. Posted that on Facebook tonight. I'll be posting a picture of it on Instagram tomorrow as well. And asking for you guys to comment, tell me what colors y'all would like on it. When is the next Fish Life uh, podcast? Well, man, it's just a time factor on the podcast. We just don't have the time for the podcast, unfortunately. Somebody says, your new shirts look awesome. Don't forget the OD green color. We're not going to forget the OD green color. I can tell you that one's in right now because that's the one that I'm going to be wearing. And also, a lot of our guys that help us and contribute on the app, they want that color as well. So we're definitely going to be getting OD green. We're definitely going to be getting the white with the black, uh, just the basic color. But, you know, we're going to get a couple other colors as well. That's what we're trying to decide on. So. One of the shirt, okay. Somebody's asking one of the shirts coming out. If I could ever stay up. When, when these shirts coming out, I have subscription to the regular shirt, so it works good. Um, so when are the shirts coming out? The shirts are coming out. Next week, we're gonna decide, make the final decision on colors. Um, Sorry, I was reading another comment. 
Next week, we're going to make the final decision on colors, and we will take, once we make that final decision, we will start taking pre-orders. Now, we, we will give you a discount if you pre-order the shirts um, on, the, on the retail price. Um, so we'll take pre-orders next week, then we will place the final order with the Grunt Style, and from that point, it will be 30 days to delivery time, uh, is what I've been told. So, basically, the shirts will be out mid-October ish is when we will have them delivered to you uh they will go up for sale on pre-order status next week uh so be looking for that we will post that on facebook instagram everywhere i'll, po I'll post it here we'll provide a link to where you can make your pre-order Uh, apparently somebody's having an issue remembering a password on Fish Life. Yeah, your 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 settings in your phone should allow you to remember or save that password. These shirts gonna be UV hoodies. They're not gonna have hoodies. They're just gonna be a long, long sleeve, long sleeve dry fit, dry fit. I have a hard time talking that. Long sleeve dry fit moisture wicking type material. Very lightweight. Very good fishing shirts. You know everything that we do on apparel. We're gonna try and make sure. It is of the highest quality. That's why we went with Grunt Style. That's why we went with American Made. That's why we're going with sublimated printing. Like, we're going to do everything. Like, everything that we do, if you got my other shirts, you'll know. It's going to be the best quality you can get. Now, they're not going to be the cheapest shirts. They're going to be a little more pricey, but because uh, we are a small business ordering in small quantities and all that stuff. Uh, but we're going to get the very best quality you can possibly buy. When you buy a product from us, whether it's, you know, when you buy something I tell you to use for fishing or whether you go buy a Skeeter boat because I, I tell you it's a good boat, whatever we represent and we tell you that you need to buy uh, or that you should buy, it's going to be of the very best quality you can find. That's how we do things. Off topic, but what kind of speed difference are you seeing out of the FX20 versus the ZX225? Um, top end speed that I've got to in the Dark Knight, my FX20 limited edition is 75 miles an hour. Uh, the top speed that I ever got to in my ZX225 was right around 70 or 71. So the FX is a little bit faster on top end. The ZX felt like it was a little bit quicker uh, and it handled a little bit quicker. Is Fish Life going to be updated before Big Bass Splash? It just got updated last week, but yes, I'm going to review everything. I'm going to tell you, a lot of that stuff that's on there is going to stay on there because we are catching the fire out of fish and great tournament fish off a lot of those spots. So most of that stuff is going to stay the same, but we will review it and make sure that we have the best, most current info we possibly can for you. So, Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It has been a crazy night trying to read 800,000 comments. Uh, thank you very much, Aaron Rodgers and Jack in the Box and whoever blank name all these other people were. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I uh, hope I didn't miss too many questions tonight. It was really hard to keep up with what was going on in the comment section, but that's okay. We love them too. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much for watching. Live seminar tomorrow night free at Lake Fort Marine at 6 p.m. If you're in the area, please stop by and come see us. We will have a special first-time guest, and we'll see you next time right here on your Lake Fort Guide.